Hello class 3 boys and girls welcome back to grammar class in today's video we're going to talk about the simple past tense chapter 14 the simple past tense let's get started the simple past tense is used to talk about actions that happened at a certain time in the past we use simple past tense to talk about finished actions, states or habits in the past. The simple past tense is the basic form of past tense in English. The time of the action can be in the recent past or the distant past. If you want to talk about a series of completed actions in the past, you can use simple past tense. We use the simple past tense to express the idea that an action started and finished at a specific time in the past. We don't have to mention the specific time every time, but we have a specific time in mind. For example, I played football, John went to the park. With most verbs, the past tense is formed by adding D or ED. For example, work, worked, play, played, bake, baked. But some verbs are irregular in the simple past. They change their form completely. Here are the most common ones. Go, went. May, made. Buy, bought. Run, ran. Give, gave. Sit, sat. Have, had. Think, thought, come, came, get, got, meet, met. Now let's move on and do the warm-up exercise on page 58. Identify the errors in the use of the present tense and the past tense. Rewrite these sentences after correcting the errors. What we have to do is, we have to identify the errors in the following sentences and then after identifying them, we have to rewrite the sentences. Number one, I jogs in the park every day. This sentence describes a routine, which means the simple present tense. As we can see, I is first person singular, so the verb jocks don't need to take an S. So we write, I jog in the park every day. Number two, yesterday we sit by the lake and watch the butterflies. This sentence describes a past general action, so sit and watch cannot be used in this sentence. In this case, we use the past form of sit, set, and the past form of watch, watched. So we write, yesterday we sat by the lake and watched the butterflies. Number three, he was eight years old now. Do you see the error in this sentence? The error is WAS was because this sentence talks about the present time now. So, WAS was cannot be used for this sentence. We should use the be verb in the simple present, I is, is. So, we write, he is 8 years old now. Remember this, the be verb in the present are, am, is and are. The be verb in the past are was and were. Number four. I am hungry. Let us eat. Well, if you are hungry now, you cannot say eat. 
because eight is the past form of eat. So the correct sentence should be I am hungry. Let us eat. Number five. I wake up at five today. The error in this sentence is wake because you already are awake and so the action of waking up has already happened and is part of the past. So the correct way would be I woke up at 5 today. Number 6. The assembly is at 8 p.m. yesterday. We are late by 10 minutes. The sentence talks about the past but ISEs and ARER are used here. The B verb in the past are WAS was and WERE were. So instead of is and are, we should use WAS was and WERE were. The assembly was at 8 p.m. yesterday. We were late by 10 minutes. Remember, the B verb is, am, and are is used in the symbol present. So, WAS was and WERE were describe a past general state. Number 7. I do my homework by 9 p.m. yesterday. The error in this sentence is DO do because the sentence talks about past action. So we say, I did my homework by 9 p.m. yesterday. Did is the past form of the verb do. Do is present tense and did is the past tense. A past tense is the tense we use to express an action in the past. Number 8. Revati is tired yesterday. So, she go to bed early. The errors in this sentence are is and go. Is, 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 is present tense, third person singular. Go is an irregular verb. The past form of go is went. For irregular verbs, we have to change the verb in a different way. So we write, Revathi was tired yesterday, so she went to bed early. Number 9. Father drank tea for breakfast every morning. The error in this sentence is drank because the sentence is in the simple present. It describes about routine and habits. Remember, for the third person singular, he, she, and it, we add s to the verb. So we say, Father drinks tea for breakfast every morning. Let's have a quick recap of the warm-up exercise on page 58. I jog in the park every morning. Yesterday, we sat by the lake and watched the butterflies. He is 8 years old now. I am hungry. Let us eat. I woke up at 5 today. The assembly was at 8 p.m. yesterday. We were late by 10 minutes. I did my homework by 9 p.m. yesterday. Number 8. Ravathi was tired yesterday, so she went to bed early. Number 9. Father drinks tea for breakfast every morning. Now let's move on to page 60, exercise A. Change these verbs into the simple past tense form. Climb, climbed. Win, won. Understand, understood. Wear, wore. Keep, kept. Make, made. Hold, held. Think, thought. Drive, drove. Speak, spoke. Write, wrote. 
sleep slept hop hopped give gave catch caught now let's do page number 60 fill in the blanks with the correct form of the verb in the brackets number 1 The little child we met yesterday at the traffic light was very hungry. My sister sang a song yesterday. We slept late last night. Rihanna spoke to her friend for an hour. Rahul scored a goal for his team and won the match yesterday. Tarun swam in the pool yesterday. The police caught the thief last week. They had a car but they sold it last year. We were at our grandparents yesterday. I was unwell yesterday. My father baked a cake in the morning. She finished her work early today. The boy ran fast and came first. The cat drank a bowl of milk. We went past the actor's bungalow yesterday. My father watered the plants in the morning. Last night, I narrated a story to my baby sister. Last month, my brother won a prize in the painting competition. I blew out the candles on my birthday cake. We bought a new car last Sunday. My mother drove the car carefully last night. I packed my lunch box this morning. I baked a cake on Sunday. My friends loved the cake. The children swam in the pool last Sunday. She saw a fox in the bush yesterday. Well, that's all for today's lesson. Till then, bye-bye.